College Football, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans on a gorgeous Friday night under the lights at Autzen Stadium. It is Colorado. And 15, you could feel it sitting down with both of them yesterday. Their teams reflect their personality. And a bunch of mutual respect. Oregon won the toss and chooses to receive, and it's Travis Dye bringing it back. Oregon to start at the 25-yard line. Well, they're seeing going to mix it up tonight. Official to the 47-yard line and a snap through Herbert's hands. He chases it back to the 27. Kind of a hot shot coming from Jake. Take it to play. Second and 29 potential drive killer on the opening possession for Oregon. Herbert well protected. Downfield, he's got an open red. And they pick up all the about seven. Yeah, a lot of zone coverage. And watch the underneath defender here. This is his play. He's got to get underneath that corner route. ASU ran this coverage. He's got to get underneath that route and force the throw in front of him. Here comes pressure and a wide open red. Takes advantage into the vacated area for an Oregon first. That's why they've been statistically one of the worst pass defenses in America. Bringing pressure again. Throwing into it again. Jacob Breland cuts it upfield. First and goal for the Ducks. And Herbert throwing such a weapon between the hashes. Back to the ground. Here's Verdell for a short game. Second and goal. I mean, this will truly, Joe, and we've seen this in different matchups. Right. Second and goal. Play action on the slant. Good break on the ball by Darian Rakestraw. They've gotten 12 takeaways. Top 10 in the country. On third and goal. Herbert to throw. Well protected. Good coverage. But a man comes free last minute. It's Jacob Breland for the Oregon touchdown. Freshman Camden Lewis had the extra point. And Oregon, which faced a second and 29 on the drive, is 75 yards. It's the sixth of the season for Breland. Colorado has it for the first time when you come back. I love my girls. Fontenot. Has room off the right side. Alex Fontenot with a first down, pinballing to the 31. He's playing with. He's given time here to find Chenault again. Another Colorado first down. And just look at his mechanics. I mean, move the sticks. They are working quickly. He's retreating and lobbing out of bounds. And Something that he's much more comfortable doing these days. I mean, it's like 11th play of the drive. Ton of the screen to Tony Brown. Third down. Third down for the Buffs. 13th play of the drive as Montez back to throw. Looking short side. Underneath he goes. And Tony Brown's got to gain a three or four, but not enough. From 27 yards, he's got it. And he's matched Mason Crosby. Colorado record 10. Mario 9-1 and one here at home. Playing well. Second quarter begins with a first and 10. They pump short. Herbert time to scan. Back over the middle. That is dropped by Johnson. I know why you said Jacob. That looked like Jacob Eason from a few <laughs> weeks ago. And Justin Herbert, they both throw rockets. That's 35 yards on an absolute line. That's what we like to call. Habibi Likio running hard. Virus Habibi Third down coming up. Off play action. Herbert throwing incomplete. Back to Johnson, defended by Abrams. And at that point, this one from 32. And he just barely sneaks it inside that upright to make it 10 3. The left tackle, Mr. Sewell. Back-to-back -back run plays, and Verdell powers ahead. Seriously, do yourself a favor, and I know it is hard watching a football game because your ball has the chance to be. That guy's coached a lot of pros. To the short side, a big hole, and Verdell hits it hard. Inside the 20, and they're finally doing Made his 44th consecutive start. The two of them just own the point of attack. I mean, that's a mismatch. It's Carson Wells trying to be an edge defender, and that's a 350-pound clean guy that weighs 330 that's got feet like a tight end, and it's just damage. Run away with this conference, then run the football like this. Behind him again. This time the hole is plugged nicely. Here. 
Second down, they'll throw for the first time on this drive. Quickly in the hands of Addison, who gets finished off by Landman, and it's third down. Far on those trips. Showing pressure. On third and five, and they're bringing it. Herbert retreats, hits the crosser. It's first and goal. That is Johnny Johnson, his first catch. Schooler motions into the formation. An extra blocker for a wide open lane and a touchdown, Habibi Likio. There's the left side of the pool, and I love to play football. <laughs> I mean, I really enjoy playing football, <laughs> and I like being five yards into the end zone so my running backs can run right behind me into a gaping hole. Touchdown. Five of the seven plays on that drive were on the ground. Most run-oriented drive of the night we've seen from the Ducks. And it's got him. And to give up a drive here would be truly devastating before halftime. Second and short. Herbert given time. Over the top. There's Pittman again. Perfectly thrown. First down inside. And there's three NFL GMs here tonight, as Bruce Feldman alluded to in the open of the show, because that's an NFL throw. Mm. We saw Juwan Johnson drop one of them in the back. Younger brother of Michael Pittman at USC. First down from the 17. And with two timeouts, really have their entire playbook at their disposal. The throw underneath here. It's Johnson. Johnny Johnson inside the five. First and goal for the Ducks. Herbert into the short side. Chased by Landman. Knocked down and incomplete. Mikhail Onu, the play, when it would have been third down and ten. Jalen Red, fifth consecutive game with a touchdown. What a big score for the Ducks. And it you, it's not just about being downhill. Look at the athleticism at 330 pounds. He's out blocking a linebacker once again into the end zone. They go 80 yards in a minute seven. Lead at 24-3. Six. Opening drive of the second half for the Buffs. Montez looks to throw. He's given time. He steps up. A great break on the ball. A tip and a pick. Bryson Young comes up with the interception. I mean, I know I have said this once. I've said it a hundred times tonight. Right, it is just the team speed. McKinley has the pick earlier. It's his speed and break on that ball. It's the difference that allows his buddy Young to finish the deal. It was a week ago that Hall to tick late. It's still a completion, not against his crew. So just like that, Oregon's got it at the 40-yard line. They start their second half with C.J. Verdell. You know, McKinley. Safety that just has to protect against the big play. With Holland out, he's getting a chance to do a little bit more. Second and seven. Herbert down the sideline. Back shoulder to Jalen Red. First down inside the 20. Uh, Verdell into the short side and in a corner blitz. Delrick Abrams shuts it down. And speaking of a corner that likes to tackle. Mm -hmm. The guy they call Slim. We've called. They bring Red in motion on second and nine. Herbert pumps. Now floats. In zone through the hands of Camp Moyer concept you're faking the bubble screen you see the attention and the eyes go to the screen and that's a back shoulder just bullet from herbert the breland's caught twice this year and that one his sixth touchdown of the year on third and nine colorado shows pressure and they bring five the extra man able to get there but he gets rid of it and red hangs on for his second touchdown that's just another vertical they've been pushing the verticals all night long and that's against the fastest Buffalo player. That's Davion Taylor. That's a 10, 500 meter nickel linebacker. 31 3. Colorado is knocking on the door to make core injury. Back to the air on first down. Montez right into coverage, and it's McKinley's second pick of the night. He's got a convoy of blockers. He's got it first and goal. This is a pre-snap view. Once again, these numbers tell you everything. It's a four on two. But Montez is looking right into it. And unfortunately, he does not see McKinley. He thinks he's got middle of the field open. He does not. And this is the challenge when it's throw, 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 throw. 
against Andy Avalos and, and the amount of scheme and volume they throw on that team. I give an awful lot of credit for Oregon for creating it. Straight downhill, Habibi Likio in for the touchdown, and the route is on on this Friday night. To the left side of the line. How about the right side of the line? How about these big boys? How about Throckmorton and crew? Just driving the Buffaloes equally right back into the end zone. Pretty that side with balance, the ability to run it, the ability to throw it, and the ability to be up 35 in the... Smith, Brady Breeze from the safety spot to stop him short. Montez Boots, what a one-handed catch by Dimitri Stanley, but a lose yardage. Hockey Woods brings him down. Seven of the last 58 possessions. It's a beautiful catch from Stanley, but it really doesn't matter which D Duck defender's in. They're all flying and flying high in that. Starters staying there for the Ducks offensively. C.J. Verdell explodes through the hole, into the clear. He's got a speedster chasing him, and Taylor running out of steam, able to trip him up after the 15. It's a run. Penalty because it's textbook on the left side of the line with Lemieux. Once again, you're just driving those Buffalo defenders to the second level. And I think the last drive for the starters, they want to send it off with a statement. And you said earlier they were just oh so close to finally breaking one. And if not for the 12 sprinter coming after him there. Remember Bruce Feldman's freak slips tracking him down. Habibi Likio. Loud contact at the line. The head was down with that contact. Here he is again. First and goal. In the water. Habibi Likio this time stopped by Nate Land. Football Stadium on record. Second and goal to begin this fourth quarter, and Habibi Likio powers his way inside the one. And they all like that break. And for Habibi Likio, a third tonight. Makes it 45-3, and not just this. Issue with recruiting being so shaky because all the uncertainty that they're dealing with. Okay. Second and seven, handed off to Felix, and that is going to do a pretty thorough beat down tonight. From affects an awful lot, Mel Tucker, and Mel knows there will be better battles ahead as he grows. Much in the image of what Mario's built there. You know, Mel said, "I put on this tape of Oregon, and you know what I see? Business. They all take care of business. That's what he's growing to." And that's what the Ducks are getting done right now.